morning guys uh, today gonna be going through a video well, I'll be doing a video on the k4203 Z Vodafone branded modem <clears throat> um, we are aware of some of the issues that have come up sometimes with these modems that um, when you plug the modem into a Windows 7 machine um, the first time it will work you can connect and browse and do everything else and Windows actually picks up the device but as soon as you unplug it and plug it back in again, it seems that the modem is not picked up by Windows. Now, this sh seems to be some sort of a flashing issue with the firmware. And I'm going to show you guys how to fix it so that <clears throat> the modem uh, gets reflashed using these two tools. So here on the desktop here, I've got WDKDI. And I've got the Vodafone K4203-Z firmware and dashboard updater. So the WDKDI.exe file is used to remove the current drivers because um, <clears throat> it seems that when um, the Windows machine actually uh, detects that you've inserted the modem, the modem, for some reason, doesn't um, open the, um, the driver port if you will I don't know it's uh, the interface that uh, Windows can, uh, communicates to the modem with so the modem seems to um, shut itself down uh, thinking that um, the Windows has taken over the interface Win uh, Windows thinks that the modem has taken over the interface and the operating system and the modem does nothing it just waits there so <clears throat> what we're going to need to do is we're going to be running this the KDI file and now this thing is giving me a problem all right, so once you've run the uh, the software that'll come up, you need to go to remove device. You choose ZTE, remove device entries, and it's going to delete all the device entries in the registry and uh, clean up those driver files. Let's see, device entries. And then remove the RNDIS drivers. Okay, great. You can end it. Now that the devices ha have been deleted, um, when you plug your modem in, the, the operating system should now detect that the modem is um, going to be inserted for the first time again. So it's as if your computer is now cleaned and you're plugging your modem in for the first time. So we'll plug the modem in. Now what's going to happen is the modem is going to reinstall itself. It's just going to um, run the uh, driver installation. Yeah, I'll show you guys what that looks like. <clears throat> and it's reinstalling the mobile broadband driver, your DIS driver, mass storage driver. So it's basically just iterating through all the driver sets and then installing them on your on your device or on your computer. Okay, as soon as that's done, um, you run the Vodafone K4203-Z firmware and dashboard updater. So I'm going to run that right now for you. Right, so this is what you see. Vodafone flash updater. You click on next. Just click on next again. Here you'll see confirm update. Now I've already updated this modem. <clears throat> so what you're going to see is you're going to see um, your current version which should be 3.2 um, over here, 3.2. Um, and the new version will be 3.3. .3. That's the new version that we've downloaded and uh, that we've run. <clears throat> so I'm going to start the process. I'll just refresh the modem. Um, just take you through what it looks like when it actually does it. I may speed this up. Um, just depends on how long it takes. It takes, it takes a good couple of minutes. So I'm just going to let it go run through. I'm just going to pause it. All right, guys, as you can see, the uh, update's almost done. It took about five minutes. Uh, just a side note that uh, if you do this, please make sure to pull out modem while it's halfway through um, because it could basically just break the modem. It's actually writing to the, to the flash on the uh, the flash chip on the on the device. So if you do rip, you basically um, ripping out the hard drive while it's installing its operating system and it become unstable so please uh, make sure that you've got power to your computer 
and you don't just pull out the modem at any point during this operation. Okay, so um, the software says that uh, the update's been completed. It'll just uh, uh, tell you what version of firmware that you'd, that you'd flash the, the modem with. You can basically just click on exit. Exit. You can hear the modem is actually now reinitializing again. It's just installing all the drivers and getting everything uh, ready and set. And uh, from here on in, if you had the problem where your modem only works once when you've uh, plugged it into your computer and then uh, subsequently it doesn't work anymore, this will sort out the problem so your modem should be working now. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys another day. Cheers.